Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to PSP student management system project tutorial for beginner. Now in the previous tutorial, we show the student data over here. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can have a delete option over here so that the admin can delete the student data from here. So for it, let's go back to our code and over here you can see currently we are in the uh, v1 underscore student dot PHP and over here you can see the username, email, phone and password. So first of all, we are going to add a table header over here. So let me just copy this on. Then I'm going to paste it over here. And instead of password, we are going to say over here, delete. Delete. If we save it now, then if we just refresh over here, here you can see we have a extra table header called delete. So we are going to show delete for every data over here. So for it, let's go back. And here you can see we have a while loop. And inside this while loop, we show the username, email, phone, and the password. So over here, let me just copy this TD, Control C, and I'm going to paste it over here. Then here you can see Echo, and inside this Echo, we have uh, this on. So let me just remove this. And inside this Echo, we are going to mention an anchor tag, anchor tag opening, then anchor tag closing. And inside it, we are going to say delete. So if you save it now, and if you now refresh, here you can see we have a delete button or delete option over here. So if we click this delete option, then it will delete the specific data. So for it, first of all, uh, inside this anchor tag, we are going to say here h ref is equal to, we'll give two single quotation. Uh, if you give double quotation, it will give us error because there in the outside, there's already a double quotation. So we need to give a single quotation over here. And let's over here, h ref is equal to delete dot php. And here you can see that over here we show the student username, email, phone, and password. So obviously, every data over here has a unique ID. Let me just go to my database. And if I go to my user table, here you can see we have an ID column over here, and every ID is different. So here uh, in the in this href, we are going to get the specific ID. So here we write delete.php. So here we are going to give a question mark over here then we'll say uh, let's say it will be student underscore id equal to we'll give two second bracket and over here you can see uh, how we show the data over here uh, we write dollar info here you can see in the while loop we mention over here dollar info is equal to result something then uh, using this dollar info we show all the data so over here we are going to do the same thing we are going to say over here dollar info then we'll give two third bracket and two single quotation and inside it we are going to say over here id so let me just uh, explain it again uh, so that it becomes more clear to you so here you can see that inside this href we are actually getting the student specific id so what will happen is that if someone click this delete button then it will get the specific id for this specific data so here you can see we mentioned delete.php and we do not have this delete.php so we are going to create this so let me just right click over here then i'm going to click new file and here we are going to say delete.php Control s then save so inside this delete.php we are going to write some php code so in order to write php code we need to give the php tag first so let me just give the php tag and inside it first we are going to connect this uh, delete.php to our database so let me just say over here dollar host is equal to uh, local host then we will give dollar user equal to root then dollar password equal to null and the last one is dollar db db it means our database name our database name was school project so right now we are just going to say over here dollar data is equal to my SQL I connect to first bracket and inside this first bracket we are going to mention all those variables so let me just say over here dollar host comma dollar user comma dollar password and the last one is dollar db so once we write this line it means we are connected to our database okay let me just show you my database name over here let me just zoom in here you can see my database name is school project so after writing this line, we are connected to our database. So right now, uh, let me just go to my v1 underscore student dot php. And over here, you can see that we mention a variable. This is a variable actually. Over here, you can see student underscore id. 
and inside this we are actually storing the id over here you can see uh, we are getting the id from the database and we are storing the id inside this student underscore id so we will get uh, this student underscore id in our delete.php so over here we are going to give a if condition and we are going to say if so inside this if condition we are going to uh, give dollar underscore get and we will give two third bracket and two single quotation so over here we are going to say student underscore id so over here first we are checking uh, if we get the student id and this student underscore id is actually this one uh, so uh, if we have the student underscore id then we will come to this if condition so obviously we are going to write some code over here so over here first let me just declare a variable let's say dollar uh, let's say user id let's say user underscore id you can declare actually any variable over here i am just going with user underscore id equal to i am going to say dollar underscore get then we will give two third bracket to single position student underscore id so basically the same thing that we just write over here so after this we are going to write a sql query so let me just declare a variable called let's say sql equal to we'll give two double quotation and inside it we are going to say delete from user or uh, let me just show you my table name over here let me zoom in here you can see my table our table name is user so here we are going to say delete delete from user we'll say where id equal to we'll give two single quotation uh, if you give double quotation it will give us give you a error because at the outside we already have a double quotation so inside this uh, single quotation we are going to mention this dollar user underscore id so over here uh, we are going to say this one so it means it will delete the specific data with the with the specific id that we got from the view underscore student dot php so after it we are going to say dollar result equal to we say mysql underscore query and here you can see that we connect our database and we store it inside dollar data variable so here we are going to say dollar data comma we are going to mention this dollar sql so let me show over here dollar sql so once you write this line it means we will be able to delete our data so here we are just going to give a if condition and we are going to say inside this if we are going to say dollar result so if the delete is successful then we'll come to this if condition and inside this if condition we are going to say our here header header we are going to say to double quotation we are going to say location uh, we will say view underscore student uh, student dot psv page so after deleting we will return our view to view underscore student dot php so if you now save it then if you just refresh our hair and let's say we want to delete this first one let's click delete and here you can see it refresh and it delete the data let's say we want to delete this one and if i just click delete it will delete this one here you can see it's gone now let's say if the admin click this delete option then it will show us a message that are you sure to delete so for it let's go back to our code and over here so inside this anchor tag we are going to say on click equal to we'll give this backward slash then we'll give two double quotation then we'll give this backward slash over here like this uh, so you need to write it like this and then inside it over here we are going to say javascript javascript then we'll give this clone sign then we are going to say return return confirm then we'll give two first bracket and we'll give two single quotation and then we also need to give a semicolon over here and inside it we are going to say are you sure to delete uh, delete this let's say so if you save it now and then if we just refresh our hair so currently if we just click this delete option here you can see it is asking us are you sure to delete this and if i click cancel it will not delete now let's click this on and if i click ok then it will delete the data here we can see right now we only have on data and now let's say after deleting the data we want to show the message uh, at the top over here so for it we'll go back to our code and then we'll go to delete.php and here you can see we mentioned the if condition over here so inside this if condition we are going to say dollar underscore session then 
over here we are going to say let's over here message then we say equal and here we are going to say let's say delete delete student is successful since we mentioned this uh, session message over here so it will send the message to our this location and since we are using session so we need to uh, add the session start at the top so here let me just say over here session start so once you write this session start we'll be able to send this message to our view student.php so let's go to view underscore student.php and here let's say we want to show our message uh, let's say over here so in order to show the message uh, we need to write some php code so first we'll give the php tag so inside this php tag we are going to give a if condition if there is any message so uh, we are going to say if and here in the delete.php uh, here you can see our session message variable is this one so let me just copy it and i'm going to paste over here so we are checking if there is any message and if there is any message then we are just going to say echo dollar underscore session message and uh, since we are actually using session so we need to add session start at the top and we already add session start at the top so let me just add one more thing that is error reporting uh, it will be zero so let me just go down over here uh, after this if condition i am going to say over here unset and inside this unset i am just going to uh, say this one dollar underscore session message so it means once we delete the student data it will show the message and if we refresh our browser then it will remove the message so let's go back to our browser and let me just okay there is only one data so let me just add a few more data i'll just make it quick let's say username test on uh, let's say email test at the top gmail.com random phone number and password let's add student so let's go to my view student and over here currently if i just click this delete button here you can see are you sure to delete this and if i click ok here we can see delete student is successful and if i now just refresh over here here you can see the message is gone so this is how you can delete data in php i hope this tutorial was useful and you learned a lot from this tutorial so if you like this tutorial then please subscribe this channel and let me know in the comment section how much you like this video and Thanks again for watching, stay tuned and stay healthy.